In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to spin and stack deer hair. Deer hair is used on a lot of different types of flies. Uh, this here is a mouse. And it's also used on small flies too, like a little goddard caddis. Uh, it's used on muddler minnows, which is a real popular one. Also, just collars and heads on streamer flies. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select a thread. Uh, I like to use UTC 140. It's much thicker than your regular trout thread, your UTC 170. But if you're new to spinning deer hair or it's something you've never done before, I do recommend a thicker thread than this or a heavier duty thread than this, uh, such as like Kevlar uh, or gel spun uh, GSP thread. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start your thread behind or right on top of where you're going to tie. The idea is you want to leave a little bit of bare hook shank uh, as you work your way forward. And when we turn our thread and work our way forward, uh, we want to tie our deer hair right on top of uh, that thread. The bare hook shank does allow for a little bit more uh, spinning and sliding. Now if you had a little base of thread just like so, it would spin just fine on that little base of thread. But if we had a big, giant, monster, uneven clump with lots of uneven wraps. Uh, you can see there the uneven wraps. It starts to get uh, a little tougher to spin deer hair on big clumps of thread uh, just because the deer hair does bite and grab uh, on those ribs of thread a little bit uh, better. So we're just going to take our thread and just lay it on the hook and then we're going to get our deer hair ready. Now when you trim your deer hair from the patch there's usually all this fluffy fiber called dubbing at the bottom of the deer hair. Now you can either just stroke it all out with your fingers or you can use a, a fur comb. Uh, I usually just stroke it all out with my fingers and I just kind of end up with all this stuff and I do it by just taking my index finger and my thumb and just kind of real quick pulling all that fiber out of there and you can see then the deer hair is clean of all that dubbing. But a comb also works very, very well. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the deer hair fibers, I'm going to pinch them by the butts, and I'm going to trim off all the tips. Just exposing a one inch little piece of deer hair. Then I'm going to take that deer hair and I'm going to lay it right on top of the hook. Now the next couple steps are pretty important. I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to do one loose wrap then I'll do a second loose wrap. I'm not tightening down on these wraps whatsoever. I'm just basically getting those wraps around that deer hair. Now once I have those wraps around that deer hair, I can then just start to pull tight and then I can let go of the deer hair. and I'll pull the thread towards me. Then I will continue to wrap a couple more wraps through that deer hair. You can see here I end up with an absolutely perfect covering around the shank of the hook. And you don't want to wrap through it too many times. Don't worry about it if it's a little bit loose. That's okay. I pull nice and tight and I did those extra couple wraps through the deer hair. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stroke all that deer hair back. You just kind of, I just coax it back with my fingers. Once I do that, I'm going to work the thread to just in front of all that deer hair. And once I have that thread worked through that deer hair, I'm going to take that thread and I'm going to lay down some very tight wraps right in front of that deer hair. And then you're ready to tie in another section of deer hair. And we're going to try to tie it in as close as we can to the section of deer hair that we just tied in. So I just repeat the process with another generous clump of deer hair. Now when you are stacking and spinning deer hair you do use fairly generous clumps of deer hair. Uh, the, the idea behind that is you do want a dense covering of deer hair around the shank of the hook. So if you don't use enough deer hair then you're not going to get that dense covering of deer hair. So usually I work with like pencil sized uh, deer hair. You can use thicker if you can handle it, uh, if you can manage it in your fingers. So then again we're just gonna 
take our thread, we're going to do two loose wraps, then I'm going to pull down slightly and pull the thread towards me. Then I can just let the material spin around the hook. Then again, we're just going to take that deer hair, we're going to stroke it all back, work our thread towards the front of it. Then the next step we're going to do is once you have more than one bundle of deer hair tied in, the idea is you need to compress the deer hair. So what we want to do is we want to make the deer hair more dense. Uh, we want a nice solid block of deer hair. So to do that, uh, we need to basically stack it or compress it. And there are commercial hair stackers out there. Uh, I usually don't use them personally. Uh, I can just do it with my fingers. And a lot of times a hair stacker, if you're not used to using it, uh, you can cut your thread or cut deer hair. So what I do is I just pinch the back end of the deer hair and then I take my index finger and thumb, pinch the front end of the deer hair and I just push them together. And the idea is what you're doing is you're actually taking the thread along with the deer hair and you're just smashing it together making it more dense. So you can see there I scooched everything. I probably scooted it all about uh, an eighth of an inch, probably a sixteenth of an inch on each side and scooched it all together and made it a nice little dense clump. So I'll go ahead and do one more for you just so you can kinda get the idea. And This time I'll use a little bit bigger clump. We'll see if I can manage it here. I just lay it right on top of everything. Two loose wraps and pull towards me. Let it all spin around the hook. And again, just kind of coax all those fibers back. Pull the thread to the front. Lay down some real tight wraps on that bare hook shank. And then again, compress. And then you just continue to stack to your hair until you get basically to the front of the fly. Now to trim the deer hair, you can do that a few different ways. Uh, one real popular way, and one that I do use, is a double-edged razor blade. And the idea behind a double-edged razor blade is they are bendable. So what you can do is with one swipe you can get a cone-shaped uh, cut out of it. That reduces the amount of trimming that you do with a pair of scissors. The other way to do it is to use a pair of hair scissors. Now hair scissors have a long blade. They have a, like a one and a half to two inch long blade. It makes it a lot easier to do even cuts when you have a long blade. So usually what I do is I use the, the razor blade for the rough cut and then I come back with my hair scissors to kind of fine tune things. So I'll kind of show you what you can do with a razor blade. You can basically bend it into a cone and you can just take it and just work it back over the hair. You can kind of use a, a sawing action to help aid in the cutting. Always be careful that you're not getting your fingers. And the more dense that your deer hair is, the actual easier the cutting is. And I'll just kind of trim it down to the hook. I'm not really trying to create anything here. I'm just showing you how to do your rough cut. Then you can come in with some hair scissors. And I almost I can never get the cuts just perfect with the razor blade. 
I'm definitely not a professional at deer hair. It's not something I do a ton. I'm sure if you did this day in, day out, and that's what you enjoyed tying, that's what you did. You could probably do a lot better job than I am, but this is kind of just the general idea on how to do it. But you can see here how you can get that nice dense body. If you spend more time trimming it, you can get it nice and symmetrical. But that's just the general idea on how to spin and stack deer hair. And usually when you're all done, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take some head cement, some nice thin head cement. You'll want to get in here and head cement all the thread underneath this uh, deer hair. And you use a thin head cement that penetrates nice and deep to the, to the thread. But that is the general idea on how to spin and stack deer hair. Uh, really just consists of two steps, the spinning part of it, and then also the compressing and stacking of the deer hair. And if you do it all right, you'll end up with, you know, a little mouse, something like that. And you can find all the materials to spin and stack deer hair, as well as some examples of some flies that use deer hair, such as the muddler minnow, uh, the mouse, and the goddard caddis. You can find those videos on our website as well. And uh, you can learn how to stack and spin deer hair. And you can find all those at intheriffle.com.